Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, we produce, record and edit video content, and audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Verbal, Podomatic, Anchor, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk Revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and www.pitch-talk.com. The pitch is where we eat. The pitch is where we sleep. And the pitch is where we talk. Welcome to Coaching with JBK. Welcome, welcome. It is yours truly, JBK with another roundup of the WSL and championship fixtures over the weekend. Now, at the time of this recording, Arsenal and Spurs have already played their game, but that will be in a separate, separate roundup coming up for this weekend. Also, just to mention, we didn't have a first weekend on the 11th of September. Um, It was reported that the Queen had passed away on a Thursday and all games from in football from the top of the the game from professional all the way down to grassroots was cancelled. Nice way to pay a tribute to the Queen and hopefully give him my regards. Hopefully she enjoys life in paradise. Moving on, the games that were started were on the 18th of September and also the 17th so the Friday and the Saturday the 16th also um, on that weekend of the 16th 17th and 18th of September and we will start with the game that was on the Friday of the 16th with Arsenal playing Brighton it was a 4-0 win Arsenal scoring the four goals one in the first half and the other three in the second but to make a di- make make this really interesting Emma Kohlberg Swedish international for Brighton of um, Brighton of Albion was sent off for bringing down Stina Blackstenius as she was in on goal as that happened it was a professional foul she got a red card now in that time Brighton have looked at the, the evidence and said there may have been an offside on the way and have appealed it. And as of this weekend, as of this weekend, it has been upheld. It has been upheld. As of the 22nd of September, it has been upheld, which is tough because if you look at the VAR, it probably wouldn't have been given. She still would have been on the pitch and the result may have been different. But as a result, it was 4-0. Kim Little with the first goal in the 20, 28th minute. Black Stenius with a goal um, five minutes after half time, with Beth Mead scoring the final two goals in the 63rd and seven minutes to go. Tough for Brighton to start off with a 4-0 loss. Um, and tiredness obviously pays, uh, plays a factor when you're spending most of the game defending with 10 against a very good Arsenal side. But it is a way to show that it's it's tough. It's tough in the in in this league to to just make sure that everybody gets the same result on the same weekend. Um. Hopefully, Coburg will come back rejuvenated and ready just to go when the WSL re- um, returns in October. Manchester United four. Reading nil was this the next game on the 17th of September. This game was pretty much one side in the first half, but it fizzled out in the second as Reading looked to hold on as much as possible. Maya Letizia with a goal in the fourth minute. Zellen with a goal in the uh, with a penalty in the 14th. Letizia getting another goal in the 25th. And then one of England's Heroes of the summer, Russo with a 35th minute goal. All the goals were scored in the first half. And what a way to get going. 
Now I have a couple of surprising results um, from this one in this uh, in this roundup because there were some games that really made made waves and headlines going forward. If you look at who was playing and who wasn't, I will get to both of them in a minute. But I'll start off with Leicester City one, Tottenham Hotspur two. So goals started in the first half from Ashley Neville, the thirty fifth minute. Goal in the second half from Drew Spence. A new sign-in for Spurs in the 47th minute before an unfortunate own goal came in from Drew Spence came in the 58th minute for Leicester City. Now that's probably, hopefully, that's not going to change anything for those two teams. But you, you start to ask yourself the question of what will the season be like after game one? For these clubs. We move it on. We move it on. West Ham United 1. Everton 0. Goal coming in the 45th minute by Lisa Evans. Another recruit for West Ham United in the 45th minute. Not an easy result for Everton. But they've managed to get themselves in a good position. As it's only 1-0. It's a good start to the season, but hopefully they're not in a position where they're losing three, three games on the bounce again. We move it on and we start to look at those surprising results. And one of those surprising results so happened to be Aston Villa 4, Manchester City 3. What a game this was. Alicia Lehman with the first goal in the 22nd minute, starting the scoring for both teams. Then the next goal coming in the 32nd minute from Daly, another England hero. Then you have Coombs coming back in the 46th minute. Khadija Shaw making it 2-2 before Coombs adds her second in the 55th. Kenza Dali with another goal, but 